Recently, uh, I reposted a story of a bodybuilder, fitness guru, icon uh, named uh, Greg Plitt. And uh, I've recently been doing some research. He is, to sum it up, one top you know, person in the sports world said, to say that Greg Plitt was a fitness uh, instructor is like somebody saying that Michael Jordan was just a basketball player. <laughs> and you can see the accolades on him. He's been on over 250 fitness magazines, the cover, the 250 fitness magazine. He was on a prominent show called Workout on the Bravo Network. And I met this gentleman, I don't know, it might have been a couple of years ago, um, and stopped him. And uh, he was very mellow, very friendly, very uh, humble man, unassuming. Uh, in fact, when I stopped him, I didn't know who he was. Uh, Good-looking guy, you know, very well built. He was with a friend. They both liked my approach. He gave a sizable donation. I think he might have given a $40, $50 donation. Uh, I gave him the Higher Taste Cookbook, I believe, and a one of Srila Prabhupada's book, a Perfection of Yoga. Um, explained the books to him. Uh, at one point, his friend says, you, do you know who this is? Do, don't you know who this is? I said, uh, no. He says, and he explained how he was, you know, everything I just said. Uh, he said he was a top male, paid male model in America. And, um, and all the things that I said. So um, anyway, I wrote, a, I wrote a story about it at the time. And put the, uh, there's a picture of he and I. And I'm, I have my arm around him. And we're both smiling. And uh, so the other day, I happened to be looking at the news on my iPhone, and I saw this fitness guru is killed by a train. And I saw the name Greg Plitt, and I hadn't remembered exactly what it was. I remember he, what the guy was named Greg, but I didn't know his last name was Plitt, Plitt specifically. So then I obviously started doing quick research to look back at my posting on my Facebook page, and sure enough, it was him. And uh, apparently he was with some friends filming for a new reality show, workout show. And as was his habit previously, I guess he had done some other shoots on train tracks. And apparently he saw a train coming, but he thought it was on another track. And he stumbled over the tracks and the train killed him. So uh, suffice to say, uh, it makes me feel very uh, good that I was able to g give him some mercy in the form of Srila Prabhupada's books, that he was eternally benedicted and blessed. Uh, and, you know, th I guess the moral of the story here is, you know, we really, for Sankirtan devotees, you know, you know, I know back in the heyday of book distribution when Srila Prabhupada was still on the planet, we were a missionary movement and we had the... There, that was our main focus, was reaching the conditioned soul, spreading this movement with great intensity, with great, a great feeling of urgency. And uh, really that, that ultimately should be, you know, in my humble opinion, that we really have to cultivate a sense of urgency that we don't know what is the destination of these people we're speaking to. So if we take it lightly, you know, if we're too nonchalant in our approach and we, if our meditation isn't strong, then, you know, that person goes and they never, we don't know if they'll see a devotee again before they leave their body. But if you're thinking, I have to somehow or other get this person to take this book, to, to, to give a donation to Krishna, uh, we actually have to have an intense burning desire to want to deliver, to deliver these people, you know, uh, because they're suffering. Everyone is suffering. You read the news every day, you know. And really, the devotees, they were their only hope, were their only hope. By Krishna's arrangement, and we may be unqualified, but you know we can say that prayer: Mukam Kuroti Bhachalam Pangangalangai Tegrim, Yat Kripa Tamahang Bande, Sri Kurundi Natarinam. So uh, we should 
you know, we should pray intensely for the right attitude, consciousness, mood, and meditation, and we should actually want to really desire the welfare and happiness and deliverance of these people. And that's our, uh, you know, that's Srila Prabhupada's mission. And uh, what they asked Srila Prabhupada one time, uh, what is your mission? What is the, the ultimate goal of this Krishna conscious movement? Prabhupada, I believe he said that, that people become happy. He just wants to see that people become happy. So we have that knowledge to give them. We have that, the key to open the door to their eternal happiness. We, we have a great responsibility, great responsibility to, to uh, push on this movement. And Prabhupada said, the best preaching, Prabhupada said, you want to please me, then preach vigorously as I am doing. He said, I want to die gloriously on the battlefield like Arjun did, fighting to the last breath. Like my dear god sister, Mahanasini, she's, I think she's almost uh, 68, 69 years old. She's been one of the top book distributors the last few years in the world. She's incredible. And I know she's very sincere to want to, to do Prabhupada's books. And Krishna has empowered her in uh, inconceivable ways. So, uh, you know, uh, anyway, uh, we have a, a great, great responsibility and a great opportunity. A great opportunity. Uh, you know, when you go out in Sankirtan and if it appears like, I really don't want to go out, it's really, boy, this is too tough, I think I'll quit. Sometimes you feel like just packing it up and leaving. But you have to know that if you decide to stay there and do your duty, even if you're not expert or qualified, if you have a desire to please Srila Prabhupada, to please Krishna, because you know it pleases them that these people get these books. And like I was saying earlier that the Prabhupada said, the best preaching is book distribution. Prabhupada said, what good will your three-minute lecture do? He said, they'll forget it and they'll go away and they'll forget. But if you give them one book, Prabhupada said, then their lives may be changed. So how important is this book distribution? Anyway, all glories to Srila Prabhupada.